Dubai's horizon prickles with skyscrapers almost as far as the eye can see. Architects design them with the aid of mathematical formulas, but in the future they may look to the bottom of the sea. They may find a luminescent sponge called the Oiplectella aspergillum, or Venus's flower basket. Its skeleton is made of glass. Composed of many interspersed layers, it doesn't shatter or conduct light. Could it be a model for architecture? Humans have often been inspired by nature. People would have never thought of flying if there were no birds. On the other hand, it's true that the characteristics of materials are often determined by very small degrees, somewhere in the region of nanometers, millionths of millimeters. For this reason, you need methods and techniques to investigate them. At the Max Planck Institute of Colloids and Interfaces in Potsdam, one of the tools Peter Fratzel and his team use is an electron microscope. They probed the structures of the sponge and then compared them with those found in bones, plants and wood. Substances that are all relatively light and sturdy. The goal was to find a common link between these outstanding characteristics. Fratzel looked to the sponge for inspiration. He wants to develop high-tech materials that have the same advantages as glass sponge or bone. And he thinks he's found the key to doing it. You put tiny fibers and molecules together and put them together with larger fibers. These form lamellas and you can use the lamellas or panels to build three-dimensional structures. Inspired by his observations, Fratzl built replicas of bones and glass sponges. Then he subjected them to systematic loading. The results were surprising. Nature builds in a way that's often superior to high-tech materials. Nature is a better engineer. Engineers talk about structural elements, and structural elements made up of components that, in turn, are made of material. Nature doesn't make a distinction between a structural element and material. Everything is built. In other words, it would be as if an architect would begin at the molecular level and continue building until he created something of human dimensions. The Swiss Re Tower in London is an example of a building that has similarities with what's found in nature. The structure is built of light and stable materials, just like Venus's flower basket. <laughs>